My name is Larry Casillo, and uh, I uh, am the Area General Manager for Oxford Hotels and Resorts, overseeing our East Coast operations. I'd like to introduce our General Manager of the Godfrey Hotel Tampa, Crystal Rivera. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the opening of the Godfrey Hotel and Cabanas. My name is Crystal Rivera, and I'm the hotel's general manager. On behalf of our team, we're excited to have you here. Today, we celebrate a momentous occasion, the new era for the Godfrey Hotel and Cabanas following the rebrand and the extensive multi-million dollar renovation transformation. We are honored to have Tampa Mayor Bob Buckhorn here with us today and look forward to him saying a few words. A special thanks to Oxford Hotels and Resorts for bringing us together to celebrate this special day. To give you a little background on the property, the hotel received a full interior refresh driven by the Gettys Group, inspired by the hotel's tropical oasis and the Godfrey Upscale brand. The result, a stylish yet relaxing hotel inspired by the sunsets and the beautiful bay. We welcome you back in May to experience the new Godfrey Pool. The South Beach style Pool and Cabana Lounge will be the cornerstone of the Godfrey transformation into the Tampa Bay waterfront destination. With that being said, I'd like to welcome John Rutledge, founder and CEO of Oxford Hotels and Resorts. Thank you, Crystal, and welcome everybody. Delightful to be here. As Crystal said, I'm John Rutledge. Uh, we're excited to be here. Uh, the Godfrey brand is a brand that we're growing around the country. Uh, we consider it a luxury lifestyle brand where we try to be nicer than a typical boutique or lifestyle hotel, but not quite as stuffy as a typical luxury hotel. Uh, so we try to, to create a, a beachy vibe, great meeting space, great rooms, great lobby, ultimately a really unique South Beach style pool venue, as Crystal said. Uh, and when we looked around and we, we looked at some of the top 20 or 30 markets around the country, uh, we saw Tampa and the greater Tampa Bay area is just a dynamic and growing market. And the more we looked at it, and the more we looked at what the mayor and this uh, team of people that have really been driving this area have done, the more intrigued we were. Uh, and so all of a sudden we found this property that was right on the water uh, that was built, as some of you may know, by George Steinbrenner, the owner of the New York Yankees. And apparently he signed A-Rod, for those of you who are uh, baseball fans back in the day, and used to house them here. But we saw this and we said, wow, great location, but it had fallen on hard times. Uh, and we looked and we said, but all the dynamic activity that's happening here, we think this has fantastic upside. So uh, we, we embarked on this transformation and we're proud to be a part of the Tampa and greater Tampa Bay community. Uh, the stunning waterfront views, the sunsets, uh, again, we want it to be a place where people will gather and a very differentiated experience uh, than the cookie cutter hotels that sometimes populate uh, major cities. The Godfrey name, by the way, uh, is really derived, uh, it means peace and welcome. It's sort of a, a, a we think, a, a magnanimous and kind and uh, ultimately welcoming karma, if you will, uh, and so we love the name and we thought that was a logical name for a hotel brand, a lifestyle hotel brand that we could take around the country. Uh, I want to acknowledge the city and the neighborhood for their support throughout our process. They've been delightful to work with. Uh, special thanks to Alderman Tom Tunney and the Lakeview East Chamber of Commerce Executive Director Maureen Martino for joining us today and of course uh, Bob Buckhorn whose uh, team has been delightful and again very constructive to work with. So with no further ado, thank you very much again for coming. We're proud to be a part of this community. We want to be very much a part of your lives, and we want to do everything we can to connect. And uh, I will now introduce you to Bob Buckhorn. Thank you. Thank you. Let me tell you a, a quick story that you guys will appreciate. 1981, my first exposure to Tampa, I grew up in the Washington, D.C. area, and, and I had a fraternity brother from Penn State um, that was working down here, and he was getting married. And so the wedding service was at St. Lawrence, officiated by Monsignor Higgins, who many of you know. But most importantly, the reception, this was 1981, I had never been to Tampa before, was right there on that pier. So my first exposure to Tampa, Florida was at this hotel. 
and subsequently, um, after I was discharged from Navy flight school, I moved here and slept on his couch for six months, and he moved six months later, and then I didn't know anybody, and that began my journey uh, to where I find myself now. But it began right there on that pier. I am certain there were adult beverages involved. Um, they got divorced. Uh, it had, no had nothing to do with me showing up and sleeping on the couch with all the bad habits of fraternity brothers. Um, but it uh, was the beginning of my journey, and I am, I, every time I go past her, I think fondly of this. But um, to all of you at Oxford, to John, thank you for believing in Tampa, first and foremost. Um, I think what you have seen here, and many of us that have been around for a while have spent time in this hotel when Mr. Steinbrenner owned it and subsequent owners. I never made the journey here when Hulk Hogan had his uh, place right there. That was not someplace my wife would have allowed me to go. Um, but we've seen this building. And we recognize the importance of this building in this Rocky Point area. I would submit to you at sunset there's probably not a finer view uh, in the Tampa Bay area than sitting right here on the back deck of this. And so we appreciate the fact that you believe in us and believe in this marketplace and have invested in this and have transformed this structure into what we see here today. You couldn't have picked a better time to be here. Uh, Tampa is in the midst of an amazing transformation and I think you've seen it in the short time that you've been exposed to it. From the, the expansion, and we'll cut the ribbon tonight, today uh, for uh, phase one of the Tampa International Airport's billion dollar expansion. We've seen the increase in international flights that have brought international guests uh, by the thousands into the Bay Area. We've seen the growth of this West Shore market. Obviously downtown is uh, busting all records. The Tampa Bay Area has created more jobs than any place else in the state of Florida three out of the last six years. This is the place in America where everybody wants to be. And we've seen that in the arrival of millennials that are just flocking to the Bay Area, as well as our guests, both domestic and international. You picked the right time to be here. Uh, your investment in this hotel, I think, will pay dividends for decades, and we are thankful to you uh, for doing that. Um, I promise you this will be an investment that you will not regret. It's an exciting time for us as a community. I think all of us see it, sense it, and feel it. Uh, the energy is palpable. This is a different place. This is really our time. And so it's projects like this and pieces of that mosaic like this uh, that make a difference that allow us to fulfill those aspirations that all of us have for this amazing place that we call Tampa. This is a good day. There are a lot of good days ahead because I know this. I'm only going to be the mayor for another 400 and something days. But our best chapter has yet to be written. Thanks for being a page in it. Let's do it. Ready? We're doing one, two, three. All right. <laughs>